Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Tuesday, August 1st, 2023. This is a video for Russell in Florida. Russell is a long distance customer who uh, was looking for a dump with differential lock, which is a um, not, not a typical truck to uh, find uh, you know, in good shape. Uh, because dumps generally get used very heavily, and by the time we see them 25 years later, they're in bad shape. So a decent dump worth importing is a very rare item, let alone one with differential lock. And diff lock, I, uh, I don't know uh, the physics behind it, but diff lock is good, but most people think they need it and don't ever use it. Now, Russell may actually need it, but... Um, the differential lock doesn't add that much more tractability. Uh, it is more the four wheel drive. Uh, differential lock probably accounts for 10% of the, uh, of the, uh, the uh, well, tractability might be the right word, uh, uh, over and above four wheel drive, which is 85 or 90% of the ability. So, um, the uh, truck is a 1994 DD51T. It's a four-speed with a two-speed transfer case, and it has differential lock, and it has 21,540 miles. So let's get started, and let's check out this truck. All right. So I was using the defrost. We kind of cleaned it out yesterday afternoon and uh and i woke up this morning the windows were cracked and now it's still got the condensation inside hopefully that'll melt off i had the defrost on but um so the front of the truck let me see here it's got condensation on there it makes it hard to okay that's better. So the front of the truck looks very nice. Very, very nice. And you can see around the gasket. Looking good. And the roof. Looks very nice. The antenna's broken. Not that uncommon. When people drive in reverse, and catch a branch it snaps the snaps the antenna off all right so now we're going to come down the door post looking good has a little touch up paint right there where they had a nick you could see the paint got nicked so they dabbed it with touch up paint and looking using the sun as a reflection we're looking for dings, and I don't see any dings up here, but I do see a dent here and uh, an impression there. I'll tell you something so funny. I know, I know Russell is pretty surprised also. Russell was saying, hey, you know, I'd like to get some decent tires. And I was, I was, uh, yesterday I, I went to Erie, Pennsylvania and then returned. Um, uh, and, and, and so I, I wasn't here to look at the truck. And I said, he said, I'd like to get some better than highway radials because he's going to be doing off road and, and, uh, which is why he felt like he wanted differential lock. And so, trying to get the best combination of ingredients. And I said, well, you know, Yokohama super diggers would be nice, but they're hard to find and they're expensive. So he looked them up online and yeah, they were like, you know, uh, like $560 for four, I think. And, um, and so Stephanie came out and took a picture of them and the tires are nice Yokohama super diggers. So that kind of worked out really nicely. So it already has the super digger and they look really good. So that was pretty remarkable. 
you can see in the wheel well there. And the bedside panel has a ding from the inside out right there. Other than that, <clears throat> it looks pretty good. It looks really good. It does have a scratch here that was touched up. Here is underneath the truck. Here's the wheel well area on the rear tire. And here is the bottom of the bed. Oh, well, this is a dump. So the dump frame is in the way. And besides, I can just lift it up and show you. I'll do that in a minute. Um, I forgot about that. So the back of the truck looks nice. That looks good. That looks good. And remember, dumps. Oh, it's a brand new spare. Huh. It does have a dent right there. Let's open up the tailgate. And look at the condition of the bed. So I'm going to show you the ribs by panning across. And then you can kind of get a feel for what the ribs look like. And I can tell you right now, they look fantastic. That is really nice. So the bed really has very minimal use, which obviously is kind of what we'd like. It's not always the case. Even where the bed meets the cab, you can see it doesn't have any rust issue. All right, now we're gonna look at the passenger bed side. It does still have both bumpers. You know, a bumper for the side panel and a bumper for the tailgate. The side panel has a scratch here and a scratch here. Just some scratches and a scratch here. But the scratches did not put an impression on the metal. It's just a scratch of the finish only. And now... Looking at the passenger door, coming down the pillar, we can see a ding right there. And some very, you know, I see, I see, gosh, I don't know. I think that's it. Um, and a ding here and here. Look at those tires. Okay, and also we have a dent right here. And that is one of those things that might be able to be pulled out if you get one of those big suction cups. I have done that before, but it's not the kind of thing where every dent can be pulled out. It's really just how much of a memory it has. All right, so now to lift the bed, you go like you push this rocker button up. Okay. So now, let's look at the condition of the bottom of the bed. And you can see, as well as myself, that it is pretty darn beautiful. I mean, that is nothing short of remarkable. But I do see right here some light light rust right there and that's the only place so a, a wire brush on an on a drill or an angle grinder would take care of that another thing i look for is um the packing on the piston and cylinder or the packing on the cylinder looking good no moisture there and even if it did have a little moisture, that wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, but you don't want a leaky cylinder. 
Um, that is your differential lock. Those are the solenoids for your differential lock. That is your dump mechanism. And then notice here how nice it looks on the rear of the cab. Very, very nice. And there's the frame. And let's look at the frame on the other side. Dumps are so nice to video because it just takes the bed out of the picture and shows you up close and personal the condition. Looking nice, nice, nice. Okay, so let's let this bed down. And then we'll check out the interior. So with a dump, all you have to do is turn the ignition on because it uses gravity to lower the bed. You don't need the motor running. All right. So now the door panel does have a couple of imperfections. It's got a, a nick there, probably a nick under that tape and torn plastic there. These are not hard to recover if, if you want to recover it. Door looks good up here. So yeah, that's a good looking door. Let's look under the floor mat. Looks nice. And the seat has a tear on the side panel. Passenger seat looks good. And that's your two speed transfer case. You have two high, four high, and four low. Okay, now. Um, so this four wheel drive we had to repair because it wasn't working. So to put the truck in four wheel drive, you pull that up and then you turn on, that turns on your axle lock. And when you flip that switch, your axle lock light turns on. And that's the same thing as locking your front hubs on an old truck. That's what that does. To turn off your hubs, when you put it in two wheel drive, you just go like this, boom, and then turn that off. So that's how you take it out of four wheel drive. It's two steps. You go from four low or four high to two wheel high, and then turn off your axle lock button, okay? This is your differential lock. That turns on the unit that I pointed to in the back and locks the rear axle solid. So now, um, and, uh, so the moisture is melting out of this truck. It's almost done. Uh, but the odometer says 34, 646. Got some stuff inside there. Probably your manual and service records and things like that. Yeah, service, service records. All right, so let's take this for the drive. So we are in two wheel drive. It's very important not to drive your truck on asphalt in four wheel drive. It's not good for the drivetrain very tight turn. In fact, I'm going to close this window just to reduce the road noise.
So the purpose of this, oh, we got a deer there. He just crossed this, the road. Uh, the purpose of this drive is to see how it drives at higher speeds and then to come up back up this hill. This is a steep hill and see how it does coming up the hill. So that's 90 kilometers, so that's 55, I guess, or um, uh, 50 miles per hour. And that's good for the four speed. 50 is no problem. It felt fine. It didn't feel like I was pushing it too far or no shaking. Um, and, and a four speed will comfortably go 50. All right, so now we're going to go back up this hill and um, see how it does climbing that hill in fourth gear. So now we're in fourth gear and we're just going to leave it in fourth gear and see how we do. Um, and, you know, this all is fine. I mean, it's actually jumped right up to 75 kilometers per hour, but Wait till we go around that 90 degree turn and we have to slow way down and we're going to stay in fourth gear and see how it does at a very slow speed up this hill in fourth gear. So now we're going 30 kilometers per hour in fourth gear up a steep hill and that is obviously a little unnatural for the truck, not really what it's intended for at 18 or 19 miles per hour, but it shows us what kind of power the engine has. And this is really nothing short of remarkable. I mean, and that's because it has such low miles. So that right there, man, we went all the way up to 70. That is really, really impressive for me because I have driven so many, many trucks. And when you go up that hill and from 19 kilometers per hour, or no, 19 miles per hour, um, all the way up to 44 miles per hour, that's pretty good. So uh, good test drive, good results. I, uh, I, I, this truck has great power. Uh, it looked good under the bed, too. Uh, and the interior looks good. It does have that side split on the seat. It's got extremely low miles. Um, and it has differential lock. Uh, we did have to fix the four-wheel drive system. A lot of times when a mini truck comes, it uh, it's going to have something wrong with it. And uh, you can see where my mechanic added a button here for the differential lock and a button here for the axle lock. So uh, you can see uh, this button, I, I don't know what the story is, but it's, it's in there solid, but you can see where it's a little chipped, the mounting pad for that button. Um, and there's no more room here, so you had to put the diff lock button right here. So uh, I will say that when my guy fixes the four wheel drive, he does a really good job. He takes out the whole printed circuit board, throws it away, and rewires the whole system um, his way. I mean, and he's been doing it for years, and we've never had a single callback for, hey, my four-wheel drive isn't working now. That just hasn't happened. So he does a really good job of permanently fixing the four-wheel drive uh, and, and diff lock when applicable. Uh, so... Um, that's good, and there was something else I was going to say. Um, oh, I was going to brag about him. He's a good mechanic. He used to work at a Porsche dealership in uh, Massachusetts in the 80s. Uh, I think it was the 80s and 90s or 70s and 80s. But uh, he went to Germany and got training, and you know how Porsche is. And uh, so... I say all that to say that he is a good mechanic. And if you um, 
and 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 if you have something wrong with the truck you can call uh if you're long distance call us and then we'll three-way with him and your mechanic or you or whatever the case may be but really that's one of the reasons i get these low mileage trucks is so that you don't have to work on your truck um and and you get something uh in good condition we also deliver i believe russell wants to have this delivered and we charge two dollars per mile one way um we've changed the engine with full synthetic 5w30 engine oil new air filters already been put in new oil filter we've checked the rear diff the transfer case the transmission the front diff the radiator and the brake fluid and um test driven it and to see what's what's wrong in this case you know the four-wheel drive had to be fixed and the diff lock which we did and we applied for the title and then when the title comes in someone's going to call you and say your title is here would you like us to send it registered mail or do you want to pick it up uh and then uh we clean it make it available for sale um so let's see there are no extra fees and if it says you know this vehicle is eighty eight hundred dollars that's all you pay there's no extra dock fee or title fee or application fee or anything like that um, everything is included in the uh, advertised price of the vehicle and uh, i think that's about it so uh, thank you for watching our video